wait a minute, what if I took something from season three and moved it to season two? Because today we're gonna be looking at the Nerf Zombie Strike Bio Squad Abolisher. That's a cool name. What about the blaster? Is that any good? Nope. 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 Water gun. Squirt gun. The Nerf Zombie Strike Abolisher released at some point. I think it released sometime. I don't know when. I'm sure it was one of the years of time. Either 2015 or 2014. I believe 2015. From the outside, you might think, oh, cool, a mini rough cut. Yay. No, 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 no. Heck no. So you're thinking, oh, wait, are we talking like a shotgun hamp? Nope, an eight-shot smart AR hamp. Then you do this thing. And it's like that. So I'm gonna put a dart here. What was that all about? Well, this doesn't operate like a normal smart AR because most smart ARs, you put a dart in any one of the barrels and it'll fire that dart. No, this has a rotating smart AR mech, very similar to some Busby smart ARs, which of course Busby did better with a different blaster. But basically, the, you, when you pump it, it fires out one barrel and it kind of rotates in this like little, uh, is that clockwise? I don't know. I, I think it's, yeah, that's clockwise. Why? I should know that. It, it, it turns clockwise and it's really weird. So it goes up then down. It's like the weirdest smart AR system I've ever seen. And it works for this blaster though, but it's not really reliable. And also it's bulky because of the top part. This is a silly string shooter, but also a water gun. So this is the water canister, and there's also supposed to be a silly string canister, which I'll have on my hand. It's a picture though, because I don't have one. And basically, you could either, once you put the one of the canisters in, I only have the water canister, you pull the trigger and it fires either the silly string, which is in like a metal casing, which you just kind of shoot down and fire silly string, or it's a water blaster. And it has a pretty weak water stream. The water bottle is pretty basic. You just unscrew it, fill the thing up with water, and it pumps the water, which is, you know, what do you expect? Now, originally, I was gonna wait until I had the Silly String Canister to film this, but those things cost an arm and a leg, and I'd rather just send this to someone so they can review it too. It has actually a really nice design. Like, again, the grip is pretty good. The trigger is nice for the water thing. As a hand pump, it's really big, which makes which means you can grip it harder. And you can get more of a actual pump out of there. It looks awesome on this side, looks atrocious on this side, and it is a literal nugget. It is a literal nugget with wasabi on it. Yeah, this blaster is pretty weird and pretty wacky. But what does it have to offer today? Well, like I said, not much. All you can really do is just like sling it and then pull it out and pump off a few rounds. You could technically use the water gun feature if you want to do both, but the water gun's not that great. And the silly string is a fun prank, but it costs a, a lot. There's not really anything this offers. It's a pretty interesting thing though. I could easily see this being a great master key. Are you kidding me? Just throw this under a barrel of something. You could, oh my gosh, this is perfect for master keys, but that's about it. Well, the only practical use is being a master key. That kind of puts it at a decent slash bad category. Since it's kind of a fun gimmick, it works reasonably well and it's really cool. I'd put it in the decent. It's kind of goofy and I like it for that. Nerf was trying something different and it didn't work out, but hey, doesn't mean it sucks. It still has some potential. I could easily see this being a cool master key, but if we were gonna be realistic, a bad rating would probably be the right one to give it, but I'm still giving it decent. Okay guys, I need to do a quick update. So after further testing, I had this for a while, and after some further testing, I noticed some inconsistencies in the Smart AR. Also, the water blaster really sucks. Like, it's really bad. Even for a water blaster, it's not the best, as you can see right here on camera. But what's even worse about it, and what really makes me mad, is the inconsistencies in the Smart AR. The system's so weird and wacky, and it'll very easily skip darts. And it's really weird, and I can't figure it out. I 
don't know why it really sucks that it is doing that, but because of that, I may have to end up giving it the bad rating. I really tried to get some good shots and it took forever. However, some of the shots I did get did go pretty far, up to like 70-ish feet, and I have to cut out a lot of the skips here for the video's sake, but yeah, it was a lot of skips and it got really, really stressful and made me really mad, so yeah. Let me know in the comments if I actually did end up getting a lemon, but yeah, I may have to bring it down to bad because of all of this. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Nerf Archives. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. 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 Bye! Get out of here! Oh, what the heck? There we go.